I think the promotion of a soft life has become dangerous because do not get distracted by everybody living their best glamorous luxurious soft life with no work and no stress don't be fooled by that. Personally, what defines a soft life to me is, hey my love, welcome back. My name is Mantel. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy this video. Today, I wanna burst a few bubbles, <laughs> unfortunately. You know that I like to keep it real on this channel and soft life is something that I haven't actually touched on yet. I mean, maybe I've mentioned it in a few videos here and there, but I haven't created a full video on, have I? Wait, 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 wait. Let me just get my facts right. Let me get my facts right. I don't think I have. And the reason I haven't created a video on it yet is because my take on a soft life is slightly different to what I'm seeing now, to be honest. No, I have not created a video on soft life. Okay, this is my first video, welcome. Here's my take on how to live a soft life or if you should be even aspiring towards a soft life. So let me just make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am, okay. All right, so if you haven't heard about this trend of entering a soft girl era, then first of all, I don't know where you've been because everybody and their mother and their auntie and their niece are talking about living a soft life, entering that soft life era, entering that era of relaxation, entering the era of enjoyment, just living life, black girl luxury. We see it everywhere. Everybody is talking about it. And I get it. Like, I absolutely get it. After a turbulent, free, pushing on to four years we've had throughout this whole pandemic, throughout the tragedies spreading worldwide, We've been through a lot. It's been traumatizing. Let's be honest, it's been traumatizing. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I've had one too many existential crises. Crises, sorry. Let me get my English grammar right. I've had many crises over these past few years. I've had many breakdowns. I've questioned life. I've questioned the purpose of life. I've questioned, is there any point even working? What are we aspiring towards? What's the point being ambitious when the world is crashing? So, the only viable solution to all of this seems to just live a soft life just enjoy just don't bother about work just you know take time off take a sabbatical take a year out do what you need to do i i mean i get it and there was a point where i was in full support of it i was marching down that soft girl era phase and i was like yes i'm in my soft girl era i am all for the living in comfort and low stress that to me is what soft life is i'm all for that but i think what we're seeing now is the context of living a soft life has been completely distorted and overgeneralized and it's now just being reduced to just living in full enjoyment 24 seven. Now we're really starting to see younger generations moving away from traditional nine to fives, moving away from the rat race and feeling like they're on a hamster wheel and working towards having a long standing career. People are jumping from job to job. And you know, this is a, a difficult subject because I, I mean, I get it, I get it. I also do not subscribe to the hamster wheel kind of lifestyle and working yourself to the ground. I do not believe in overworking yourself and overstressing yourself. I do not subscribe to the struggle life. I do not subscribe to living a life that's unfulfilling or working 40 hours a week in a company that leaves you feeling unfulfilled. I don't subscribe to any of that. However, I also do not believe that living a soft life means no work and all play means full-time luxury, full-time enjoyment. I believe that life comes in seasons. There's gonna be seasons when you enter into that soft girl or soft life or that soft era. And then there's always, then there's also gonna be seasons where hard work is needed, the grind is needed. You have to put in that sweat equity. You have to put in the hours. You have to build up your experience level. You have to work towards something. Otherwise, how are you paying your bills? Where is the money coming from? I think the trend of living a soft life is both inspirational and dangerous at the same time. It's inspirational because 
it gives us something to aspire to. It gives us something to look forward to. It gives us something to work towards when we're seeing our favorite influential people living glamorous lifestyles and traveling and eating at the finest restaurants and wearing the finest clothes and always got their hair done, the nails done and looking like they're really taking care of themselves. They're attending Pilates. They're doing all these hobbies. They're going to the gym. Their body looks amazing. When you're seeing this aesthetic and then they're just slapping soft life on top of that then you think okay well I need to have this soft life how can I have this soft life what can I put in place to live this soft life now that is what we're seeing happen so yes as much as it is inspirational and it could encourage you to want to live this lifestyle a lot of the people are not sharing what's going on behind the scenes you cannot just put up a front that yes you're living this soft and glamorous lifestyle but what's going on in the background who is funding that lifestyle like come on share the details because somebody had to put in the work i think the promotion of a soft life has become dangerous because we're seeing younger and younger people babies fresh out of school fresh out of college haven't even got to uni yet and they're talking about living soft life baby girl <laughs> there's a lot of lessons for you to learn even yes the younger people it's dangerous for them but even mid-20s 30s there's still so much that we need to learn. There's so much that we need to go through. There's so much that we need to experience and you only really get that experience from being out there, from being in the world, from dealing with hard situations, from dealing with challenges, from connecting with people. I know that I always come on here and I talk about my old call center jobs and how they were so unfulfilling but I'll, I'll tell you something I learned the most skills from working in call centers from working at fast food restaurants KFC was my first job and I would not trade that to now live a soft life so when I see people at 15 16 years old talking about I just want to live a soft life <laughs> girl I'm sorry but you better go apply for McDonald's. <laughs> you better go apply for KFC. You better go get yourself a retail job where you're working 30, 40 hours a week. You're getting paid like 200 pounds thinking, oh my, this is a lot of money. That was where I was. From the age of 16 to about 19, I was always working two jobs. I had my day job, which at the time I was working on makeup counters. So I worked at Smashbox. Then I worked at Mac. So I was working on makeup counters. On a Saturday, I was working at Shoe, the shoe shop, um, and I was just doing a four hour shift there. That was my contract, four hours, pathetic, I know. But I was working there. Then I was working at KFC on an evening. And then from KFC, I had another job where I was promoting. So I was doing club promoting outside in the freezing cold all year round, all seasons, out there in the snow, out there in the rain, in the hailstone, in the wind, in the cold, in the heat. I was out there working from the moment my national insurance number came through, I was working. Now, fair enough, I get it. It was easier back then because we didn't have so much social media. We did have Instagram, but that was way, way back in the day when everyone was just sharing food pictures and just random stuff. So I was, I was working and then I'd come take my little picture and I'd just throw it onto Instagram with no care in the world. That was, that was freedom. That was such freedom. But yeah, I, I get times have moved on and in the world we're in now, it's difficult to want to work hard or want to even work at all when everybody seems to be living such a life of luxury but the point I'm trying to make is young people we need the experience even me now I need the experience I'm not against nine to fives don't get it twisted I mean God has absolutely blessed me in 2022 with not having to have a traditional um, nine to five and being able to fund my lifestyle through content creation and being able to earn a great living through content creation. God has definitely blessed me with this, but I am not naive or ignorant to think that I've made it and I don't need to work a day in my life. When the right corporate job comes along, if the right corporate job comes along, 
I'm I'm all for it. I'll take that job. I've actually been looking at different positions as well. It's because I know that for the soft life that I eventually want to live, it still is going to take work. I am not at the top of my game yet. I am not the top of the field. I need to be in there with the greats. And that comes with having experience. So baby girl, if you're fresh out of college, fresh out of school, or even fresh out of uni, you cannot just skip a whole chapter, a whole decade of life and just move straight into soft life. You need to be putting that groundwork in. So eventually you can live a full soft life and it's not just gonna be a back and forth between soft life, struggle, soft life, struggle, soft life, struggle. <laughs> that's how it looks right now it looks like people get paid so on payday they're living their best soft life living life of lavish of luxury and then towards the end of the month they're back in struggle and then the cycle continues that's not what i want for you you should not want that for yourself so you should have that discernment now that you may be in a season where you need to build and this video is not going to be for everyone if you're if you've made it and you're in that soft life and you are comfortable and if you're there, then great. This video is not, probably not for you. I'm creating this video for those who have in their mind, they want to live a soft life, but they know they're not fully there yet. They know that they're still gonna take some steps and there's this ongoing conflict and this resentment towards working, towards building, because you just wanna be relaxing. So it gets to a point where you ask yourself, do you want a soft life or are you just, being lazy because you know you're not fully there yet and there's a book i've just gone and grabbed this book i came across this book by another content creator called adama lana i'll leave her video down in the description because she's created a whole series on it and it's really good um but i've started reading this as well i haven't finished it but this just puts so much into perspective and it's basically talking about how our 20s are our defining years and it's so true what you do in your 20s the work that you put in now is going to set you up for the future so do not get distracted by everybody living their best glamorous luxurious soft life with no work and no stress don't be distracted don't be fooled by that you know that you need to put in work to get to that level of where you want to be you've got too much ambition in you for you to just conform to living a full soft life with no work. So yeah, to really wrap this up, I believe that a soft life takes work and I do believe that you can have a balance of both. At the moment, I feel like I'm, I'm in a season of living a soft life, but also putting in the work as well because of my definition of what a soft life means to me. Personally, what defines a soft life to me is flexibility having time freedom, having the time to invest in hobbies, traveling, having the time to invest in a great morning routine. This is what living a soft life is to me. So at this season I'm in in my life, I have all those things. I have time freedom, I have flexibility. It doesn't mean that I'm living in full luxury because I'm, I'm definitely not, I'm not there yet. I know in order for me to live out my version of a soft life, it's going to take work in this season. I have not made it yet. I'm not there yet. I've got a lot more building to do. So instead of conforming to other people's realities and their perceptions of what a soft life is, I've created my own definition and I'm living by that every single day. So yeah, in the comment section, what I want you to do is comment what living a soft life actually means to you. And I'm putting emphasis on the word actually because I don't want you to be thinking about what everybody else is doing, anybody else's definition. What would it actually mean to you? What small actions can you start to implement into your current lifestyle so you can feel like you are living a softer life, a life of enjoyment, but then you're also building you're also gaining that experience and that knowledge that you need so in the future you can live out your full soft life. That is it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.